Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and this is a book haul. So I am really excited about so many of these books. So let's just get started with the one I'm probably most excited about. This is Hybrid Child by Mariko Ohara. This is a Japanese science fiction novel. And I'm just going to read you the blurb here because it sounds so freaking good. So Jonah, a child murdered by her mother, has become the spirit of an AI controlled house where the rogue cyborg once known as Sample B number three takes refuge. Making a meal of the dead girl buried under the house, number three takes Jonah's form. On faraway planet Curitus, an outpost of human civilization, the female AI system that governs society has become insane. Meanwhile, the threat of the Adirapran Empire, the machine race that number three was built to fight, grows stronger. Oh my god, <laughs> what? Does that not sound amazing? I just think that this sounds so fantastic and I cannot wait to read it. This is one that I just knew I had to get my hands on. So yeah, I'm really, really, really looking forward to this one. Another one which I had to search high and low for was Troll, A Love Story by Johanna Sinisalo. So they wrote um, The Core of the Sun uh, which is kind of The Handmaid's Tale set in Finland. Only this one is about a young photographer named Angel who finds a wounded troll in the woods um, and he brings the young troll into his apartment and takes care of it. Um, and I think there is a love story that goes from there. It just really intrigued me and because I know Johanna Sinisalo has an amazing writing style and such a weird, beautiful imagination. Um, I have wanted to read this for so long. It says it has queer rep, so I'm not sure. I'm intrigued, but I have wanted this forever. So I am so glad it finally came. I think, yeah, this is an obvious ex-library copy, but I could not be bothered. I don't care. I'm just so glad I have it in my hands. Next up is another ex-library copy. This is Ice Massacre by Tiana Warner. So, oh my god, I'm so ready to read this book. I have been slowly gathering mermaid books on my shelves. <laughs> I have so many mermaid books. I think I have like five or six mermaid books. Um, this is about a clan of like ice settlers and every year they battle the mermaid sirens that kill them when they go out to hunt and every year their men are killed so this year they decide to try something different and they decide to send a pack of warrior women to battle the mermaid sirens and spoiler alert oh my god this has a queer romance between one of the female warriors of the ice clan and one of the siren killer mermaids I can't, I can't. I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. So I also know that this was made into a graphic novel. So I'm just like, oh, if this is good, oh, I will be buying that graphic novel. So the last one is 77 by Guillermo Sacamano. So you will have already seen this in the last few videos I've done because I have put it on my TBR for September and spoiler, I have already read this. Uh, this is about a gay university professor in Argentina and he is reminiscing and flashing back during 1977 when there is just a brutal dictatorship and people are disappearing left and right and being killed or just they never hear from them again and it's especially dangerous for anyone suspected of going against the government or also just anyone who sticks out which a queer person definitely would. Uh, so this book does have a lot of queer rep but it is more heavily political um, than I anticipated. So if you are someone who is really looking for a Spanish translation that is set in Argentina and deals with politics and history, this would be for you. So as you guys probably know, uh, these books, which I ordered about three months ago, three to four months ago, have only come in relatively recently and international shipping to Australia right now is just horrendous. I have had two books that I bought just completely not show up at all. So basically I'm not ordering internationally for the moment anymore, which leads me to the next two books. So I learned that Kmart 
had two of the books that I really wanted to read. Uh, so one is obviously the one that you guys know, The Hunted by Gabriel Bergmoser. This says this is Deliverance plus Battle Royale. And we're set in a remote outpost where there is a gas station. And the guy who runs the gas station is a grandfather and his granddaughter is visiting him when a wounded woman shows up, I think, and then people who are hunting her come along as well and they have to defend themselves and it's very bloody and it's isolated and I just, I really want to read it. I want to read it so bad. Also, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you totally should, links down below, you will have known that this was a giveaway book and the winner is actually Alicia from Alicia Reads. So I did a random spinner generator and I posted it on Instagram. So congratulations, Alicia. And I'm just so excited to read this book. And the other one I got from Kmart in the same haul is When I Was 10 by Fiona Cummings. So this is about a double murder and the suspect was one of these young girls who lives in the neighboring house. So that young girl was sent to a prison and a psych ward and the other young girl was sheltered and brought up very cautiously in the foster care system. And it says now on the anniversary of the death and the release of the sister who has been incarcerated, the truth is gonna come out. I'm ready. So we have the possibility of one or two evil children and I'm ready. This is gonna be an absolute October Insta TBR. Like how could it not be? Okay, so those were all the, the books that I bought. The rest of these books are books I traded for. So I recently found out about street libraries, which are like little tiny beautiful bird boxes, but instead of birds, they have little books and they're amazing. They're not little books, but little assortment of books. So when I found out about them, I searched for ones within our walkable distance. Um, that is allowed under lockdown and there were two so my husband very generously carried some of the books that he didn't want anymore and We traded for all of these books. So I have quite a few to talk about so one you might have already seen this is too much lip by Melissa Lukashenko um, who is an indigenous Australian author and this is following Carrie Salter who has spent her lifetime avoiding two things, her hometown and going to prison. She never wanted to go back to her hometown. She doesn't like how the people think and are very caught up in uh, like tradition and different things that she doesn't agree with. However, when her dad gets sick, she decides that she's going to get on her motorcycle and go for the weekend. And we go from there. This just really intrigued me. I wasn't sure if I was going to pick it up or not, um, but for a free book trade, I'm absolutely going to pick it up. Next up is Choke by Chuck Palnick. I honestly don't even know what this is about. I just know that this is a Chuck Palnick I haven't read. Uh, so this says, a medical school dropout is an anti-hero for our deranged times. Needing to pay elder care for his mother, he invents a genius scam. He pretends to choke on a piece of food while dining at upscale restaurants. He then allows himself to be saved by fellow patrons who go on to send checks to support him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, such a Chuck Palnick move. I really love Palnick. Uh, if you guys don't know, I recently talked about his recent release, which is the invention of sound. Um, which sounds interesting as well. So I am really keen to get to this. I think he has just like kind of a bizarre mind and I love that. Next up is a mermaid book, shocker. So this is <laughs> Deep Blue, number one in the Waterfire Saga by Jennifer Donnelly. So there are two things that sold this to me. One, mermaids and mermaids. Two, Jennifer Donnelly. I don't know why I know her name, but I know that I had like when I heard her name I felt good about it, if that makes sense. Um, so this goes in the in the mermaid stack. It says six mermaids battle to save their hidden world. However, it is published by Disney Publishing Worldwide. So now I don't know. <laughs> if you read this, let me know. If not, this just goes with the mermaid ocean stack. Um, I'm thinking to do a whole month that's like mer themed, mermaids, pirates sea hijinks, so 
this would be great for that. Uh, another one is Fractured by Karen Slaughter. So honestly, the cover got me. I was like, ooh, sounds good. So it is a murder mystery thriller about um, a teenage girl who has been savagely murdered. And when the police come, her mother is standing in the hallway having murdered the killer with her bare hands. And the detective, um, notices that something is amiss. It'll be just a good thriller next time I'm having a reading slump, i.e. right now. <laughs> I also have The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. I didn't really have an intention to read this one because I've heard mixed things. People either love it or they hate it, um, but for the price of a free book trade, why not try it? And then if I end up reading it a little and I don't like it, all I have to do is trade it back for another book. No harm, no foul. So all I know is that this is about a psychologist who is helping a woman who murdered someone but has refused to speak. And she's in prison or a psych ward and the psychologist, I believe, is trying to figure out what happened and why. Um, okay, and then two I have already read and you already know my feelings about them. So this is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Erin Hicks. It was very cute and very autumnal. And then the last one is On a Wicked Dream by Stephanie Lawrence who is an Australian romance writer. And this is a historical romance which was written in 2002 and it kind of shows. So uh, I will also be putting this back to the street library. So I hope that you guys are hauling some amazing books out there. Let me know what you've got recently. If you've made it this far, leave a mermaid emoji down below um, because I just can't help myself. I love mermaids. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish they were real and that's the end. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye.